What is up YouTube? Welcome to a brand new editorial time of day. It's a sad day in fact because Ash vs. the Evil Dead ended last night and let me tell you, The Evil Dead is one of the first horror franchises that I ever really got me into horror. When I was growing up, Army of Darkness, this film over here right behind my very own Ash, is one of the first horror films I ever saw growing up. It was one of the films that my dad got me into. It was kind of like a son and father bonding moment in a weird, gory, bloody mess way. But Army of Darkness still relies as one of my top 20 favorite films of all time, and just that film isn't one of my top 5 horror films of all time. The thing about Army of Darkness and the Evil Dead series is it's always, I love the kookiness, I've loved all the jinx and all the blood and gore and all this B-rated feel, but this great universe that Sam Raimi brought us. You can tell, I pretty much scattered a bunch of different Ash vs. the Evil Dead stuff around here because like I said, this is pretty much just a video of me wanting to say how much I loved Ash vs. the Evil Dead, how much I loved Army of Darkness, how much I just love the Evil Dead franchise in general, and just a great thank you to Sam Raimi, a big thank you to the man, the myth, the legend, the man with all the chins, Bruce Campbell. He is one of my favorite heroes in any type of film playing Ash Williams, or Ashley Williams if you want to call him that. Really, Ash Williams is one of the best characters, I think, just in a horror film, and just in any film in general. He's so energetic, he's so fun, and I remember when they announced that Ash vs. the Evil Dead was actually going to be a real thing coming on stars. I was so hyped. I watched every episode the second they air, because this is one of those shows that it just engrosses me, gets me back into the feel of when I was a child, when I saw these films for the first time. And again, this is just me saying thank you to anyone that helped had Ash vs. Evil Dead be brought back to the screens because I got three seasons of great at Evil Dead content that I never thought I would get again. I thought after the remake that was really going to be it unless we got a sequel to the remake, which I actually enjoyed, but it's nothing to the originals. They're both superiorly different, but they still have that nice Evil Dead feel with the demons, the deadites, and the blood. The blood is what makes these things, and I, I mean seriously, like story time here is Army of Darkness. Like I said, this was a great father-son bonding moment for me and my dad. I'll always remember that this is one of the first films he ever showed me, and one of the first films that I ever really remember watching. Yeah, that's a good thing. Yes, it's a bloody, scary, fun film, but Sam Raimi put a lot of energy into there. He cast a great, charismatic guy in Bruce Campbell, a man where the first Evil Dead when it came out was just a bunch of friends making a horror film, and then it spawned this cult, loving feeling to it where it brought us Evil Dead 2 was pretty much kind of a remake of the first one but still brought that classic energetic vibe to it then you bring back Army of Darkness this film right here one of my favorite films of all time like I said it's a masterpiece of craziness blood and gore and that is why I just adore Army of Darkness I love the lore I love the universe and when Ash vs. Evil Dead came out I was just sitting there like oh my god it's really happening and even added in the thing is I think Ash vs. Evil Dead is like the prime for the Evil Dead franchise because it not only gave us more to this universe and brought us weird centric things where I would even say season 3 is probably the best out of all the Ash versus Evil Dead seasons just the fact that they went for it they went crazy if you've ever wanted to see uh, a guy fight in a sperm bank against demons you get it in Ash versus Evil Dead you want to see him fight some demons a phone demon you want to see him fight gross looking monsters that have huge tits but are all demonic and stuff you get it in Ash versus Evil Dead it is literally like they took all their great ideas for an Evil Dead sequel and just threw it into the series. I know they probably had a bunch more before the season got cancelled, but I felt like they ended it on a right note, where I just felt happy with the series. Do I want another one? Of course, I would always love more Evil Dead, but of course, this, this video came about with Bruce Campbell, you know, a petition coming out saying, Oh my god, Netflix, please save Astro's Evil Dead. That was one of the first tweets I ever said when I saw it got cancelled. And the thing is, is Bruce Campbell came out and said, I'm retiring. I'm retiring, it's time to push Ash to death, but it was great playing the character. And again, this is just a big thank you from me, from a bunch of other fans from The Evil Dead, saying thank you, Bruce Campbell, for playing Ash Williams, for putting that energy in and coming back and playing him in the Star series. Thank you to Stars for giving us this awesome series that really just gave me more love for the series, something that I'm going to be able to show my kids and even expand to friends and family and tell them more about this if they start getting into The Evil Dead. I know I already started to, but I mean there's tons of people that deserve to know more about The Evil Dead series. 
and that's really where this comes down to is thank you to everyone involved thank you to the great supporting cast in here i mean seriously i think evil ash was the evil that another great element they brought in there was the supporting cast in here with kelly and pablo characters that i thought were just gonna be expendable in the first few episodes of the seasons but as the show went on you came to care about them you came to love them and when it went to them and it went away from ash you didn't care because their characters were very fleshed out and it's just such a fun time it's one of the best series. If you've never seen Evil Dead, go and check this series out. Go check out all the films. Go and check out the series. You, you can check them out on Netflix the first two seasons. I'm guessing the third season will probably end up going on Netflix. But seriously, for me, Army of Darkness is my favorite in the series. But I know Evil Dead 2 and Evil Dead 1 are easily up there too. People love the remake. I enjoy the remake. I think it's a ton of fun. But seriously, thank you, Sam Raimi. Thank you, Bruce Campbell. And thank you to everyone who has ever been in any of the Evil Deads and brought us these films. I'm so happy with them. And overall, guys, if you're new here, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Make sure to hit up all my social media links, especially if you're an Astros the Evil Dead fan. Let's talk more Astros the Evil Dead. Let's just glorify down in the comments. Let's talk about this thing and how much this franchise really came to be. I think this franchise did a lot for the horror genre, and I mean that in a very, very great way. And of course, the most important thing, guys, is go check out Sandwich on Films. If you guys want to check out movie news, movie reviews, and also maybe get to see some advanced movie screens, you can check it all down below in the comments and the bio below. So of course, guys, until next time, thank you guys so much for watching. It means the world. But of course, stay classy.